Over the past few decades, video games have grown significantly in size. Not just the time it requires to beat them, although that's definitely a problem as well, but I'm currently talking about storage. The average video game in 2023 took up about 80 to 90 gigabytes of storage, according to this one article that I found. And while I didn't fact check it, it makes perfect sense in my mind. Games are getting larger and larger, and there doesn't seem to be an end in sight for what's to come. There there was some discourse recently about the upcoming Call of Duty game taking up about 300 gigabytes of space. While this turned out to be false, the fact that the true numbers aren't public yet might indicate that those numbers are still alarmingly large. Large enough that the discourse that these inaccurate numbers created might have caused some panic within Activision that they maybe finally need to try and properly optimize their games. So I'm a game developer myself, I've created a handful of games, three of which I've actually been able to publish on Steam. They're by no means popular games or anything, but in this case I do hope that that they show you that I somewhat know what I'm talking about. That said, I found optimizing my games to take up less space on the hard drive one of the hardest things in this entire development process. Nearly all three of my games take up about 300 megabytes of storage. Way too much if you ask me, but I'm only a mere indie developer whose focus is more on releasing games rather than optimizing it for millions of players. Activision, however, isn't a mere indie developer. They have an audience, a large audience. Millions of people buy every single single new release they put out. So they most likely have people whose job it is to optimize their games to be playable by as many people as possible. Then why do their games often take up more storage space than some consoles have in the first place? I know, incredibly high quality models and textures, lots of sound design, voice lines and a large soundtrack. But 150 gigabytes for a 6 hour campaign and some multiplayer modes? I mean come on! And not to disparage Call of Duty too much, let me give you another example. One that's arguably worse actually. Ark Survival Evolved. The Dinosaur Survival Game. 435 gigabytes for a video game. Sure, that's including all of the DLC, but still. And I mean this with the utmost respect, but it has no reason for being that big. It just doesn't. And not just because I don't care for the game that much, it's just simply way too much. Like I said, I know that it's hard, especially as games become bigger and more realistic looking. But I don't think we're yet at the point in time where these numbers are realistic. They're, at least for now, outliers. I hate the fact that currently the average numbers lie between 80 to 90 gigabytes, cause that already is way too much in my opinion. But it still makes sense to a certain degree. 150 gigabytes are up, just doesn't. I wish studios would spend more time on making their games more accessible. And in this instance of the word accessible, I'm referring to the required storage space. Because not everyone can afford that. Not the time, not the disk space, not the disk. But before I end my little rant, I'd just like to point out that this brilliant game called Animal Well, created by a single developer called Billy Basso, requires less than 40 megabytes. Yes, it's pixel art, but that doesn't mean that much. Because, let's be honest, 40 megabytes is an incredible achievement. I could never create a game this beautiful looking and this full of content and have it be less than 40 megabytes. Indie devs are killing it, and AAA studios are just too stubborn to learn from them. Anyway, thanks for watching, subscribe, see you next time.